Hi guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a button that's uh, there's an action on that button to call a macro and that macro is to change the field that's selected in a cyclic group. So for example we have a straight table here and for the dimension we've got uh, a group called date selection. We can edit that group and we can see that within that group we, we've got year, month and date. So basically the question on click community was can we create a button that will do this uh, can have the same functionality as as this button within the chart and also can we use this image on that button so I'm going to show you how to do both now um, so the first thing is we're going to create a text object and we're going to um, add an image we can just put in any image for now because we're going to change it so we're going to get rid of the arrow E and we're going to replace that with images and cyclic and then we're going to get rid of the uh, built in piece and basically click view holds all the images of all the buttons within it so we can say QMAN bundled images cyclic and if we just put an equal sign in front of that click OK and then change the representation from text to image we should now have an image in a text object that's the same as this image here so what we can do is just make it a little bit smaller and make it transparent um, and we can say keep aspect so what we do is we just hover that over there and we'll change the transparency to 100% so now at the moment that's not doing anything but we can see that it is the same image as uh, the one within our chart so the next step is we need to add an action it's an external action it's a uh, to run a macro and the macro name I'm gonna edit module actually I'm gonna delete these I'm gonna create it here so you can see so it's sub n sub we're gonna call it um, g or button we're going to say set gg equals active document dot get group and then in uh, parentheses and double quotes the name of the group which we seen earlier which was uh, g underscore date selection Just tidy that up, and then we say gg dot cycle one. So we're just going to click check. You can see it's reading it there. We've allow safe mode. We're going to say allow system access. Click OK. We're going to edit module. We just grab the name of that gr button, and now basically, if we click on this button. It should have the same functionality as this one in here except we could put that anywhere we can just and select away so that's pretty much it that's how to create a, a button to select the fields within a, a cyclic group and um, without having to use it in the chart and um, I hope that helps and I'll see you next video cheers